The drug ice in this part of the world appears to be getting worse. This according to District Court of Guam Chief Judge Francis Hedinko Gatewood. Methamphetamine definitely is a huge problem on Guam. That is the drug of choice as of now. Actually, in the 16 years I've been on the federal bench, and even, well, I've been a judge almost 30 years, so all the years that I've been on the bench, uh, meth is, is now the, the drug of choice. The numbers she admits are high in terms of both drug dealers and drug users. The most cases that make it to her courtroom? It's all meth. And it's coming from all over, the yeah. mainland, the Philippines, and other countries. The drug problem is especially highlighted during Red Ribbon Month, a time that promotes living drug-free. Johnson Nicholas is with the U.S. Probation Office. That's still a big problem. I know the value of meth has really gone down, which means the supply, to me, appears to be really high. His work includes monitoring and guiding defendants in the system. One of them was Onofri Chargloff. Chargloff, who was in federal prison more than two decades for illicit drugs and weapons-related charges, was granted compassionate release in summer of 2020. It's his second chance that Tedinko Gatewood and Nicholas both see he isn't taking for granted. Going from the courtroom to here is like, it's surreal, you know. And uh, there's, there's I, I can't figure out any other way to explain that. You know what's funny, because you guys mentioned it, that Reentry starts from the time you go into prison. <clears throat> I did not have the light of day, but I always prepared for this. Yeah, you did. I mean, you're, you have a, your your story is is incredible. Chargloff now gainfully employed and using his experience to help others. I think it's rewarding. It's nice to know that he's, you know, benefiting from his. Uh, rehabilitation and he's out in the community he's transitioned it appears to me with uh, on freight um, it's a long story for us as well um, I always believe that the um, the the way to measure supervision outcomes is what they do after and to be able to see that they're not uh, committing new crimes or falling back into uh, drug use Chargloff grateful for those who have been alongside him throughout his journey I just want to say thank you to both of you for, <clears throat> first of all, allowing me this opportunity, you know, to, to, uh, to succeed. You know, I wouldn't be sitting here today if it wasn't for either one of you. Nick Delgado, KUAM News.